New tonight, the city has delayed clearing a controversial Minneapolis encampment for the second time in two weeks. It did not set a new date, but said the closure needs to happen to address ongoing public health and safety issues, including a fatal shooting in the encampment this week. Organizers at that camp in the Phillips neighborhood argue that closing it down will do more harm than good. For the first time, our Uba Ali spoke to someone who actually lives there. I mean, life's rough, you know. All Ben Trell Housie is hoping for is a roof over his head. Yes, I'm working on towards being in a home. The 26 year old has been moving from one homeless encampment to another for two and a half years. He now calls Camp Nenekasi home. The only reason I didn't find housing before is because there was no established camp and there was no housing workers coming there. Organizer Kristen Crabtree says when camps get cleared, that can undo weeks of hard work. And we've been able to make sure that services can come in so that people can connect with their outreach worker. And David Andrews with Agate Street Outreach Team says evictions are a big step backwards. As soon as evictions happen, we tend to lose people. They tend to lose items that are essential to getting them housed. There's an estimated 180 people living here. So far, Crabtree says 74 people who had lived here found housing. 52 are scheduled to move into housing in the coming days, including housing. And with this camp, uh, it's easier for them to seek us out and easier for us to get help. And despite the complaints from neighbors, and nearly 90 recent police calls to the camp. Things are going to be imperfect because people are people. Crabtree wants you to remember just that. These are people. My greatest hope is just a normal life. Uba Ali, WCCO News. As for the deadly shooting at that camp, investigators now say it was self-defense. It happened inside a tent here on Tuesday. They say the person who died was actually the attacker. Because of that, the Hennepin County attorney said she would not charge the shooter with anything.